everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a Lion Brand mystery box, mystery bag, however they have it inside this box. It came in, look, it has not been opened. Ah, so got my handy dandy tape ripper doohickey here. I know what I ordered, don't know what I got because it's a mystery box. I know what other people have gotten so far, and it's been pretty cool, which is why I decided to order one. Came a lot quicker than usual. Last time I ordered a mystery box from Lion Brand, I think it took an entire month to get here. I was like, what? But this time, it wasn't too bad. So, hmm, maybe they're picking things up a little bit. All right. In the box, oh yeah, I forgot. I ordered something else besides the mystery box. Um, I did, didn't I? Oh, almost forgot. All right, I got a book with purchase. So it ended up being free. It was a random book. So this will go into the book look pile. Uh, Healing Shawls. All right, that should be pretty cool. And crochet at that. You got to choose whether you wanted crochet or knit or some other craft or something. So I said, you know, crochet, hello. And that should be pretty awesome. Also, something else that I purchased because I think it is just stinking beautiful and I have wanted some. Uh, the Heartland Thick and Quick. Let's see if you can see that color. Wowzers. That is a beautiful blue. What color are they saying it is? Because I don't remember. I've slept since then. Come on now. Made in Turkey. Y'all know that. It's a super bulky six. 125 yards, 5 ounces, or 114 meters, which is not bad for a super bulky six. Oh, it's Olympic. Olympic in that beautiful, beautiful blue. Looking forward to using that. Okay, that wasn't a mystery, but it was kind of a mystery because I had already forgotten that I ordered it. Okay, then. This is the mystery... Oh, it says mystery box, but it's a bag. Is that part of the mystery that we don't know if we've got a bag or a box? Oh, let's see if this will rip off. It will not. So, must be careful. There is yarn inside. Do not want to cut the yarn. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. Oh, sweet. This is the hometown, Lion Brand hometown. Is there one that's not behind the little doohickey so that I can read it? Of course not. Oh. Wow. This is called Slatington Slate. Look at that beautiful shiny gray. Yes. Pretty soft. Definitely, as Crystal back a day would say, scarfable. It is 100% acrylic. It's super bulky, six. Very similar to the Heartland Thick and Quick. This is the hometown. Um, 142 grams, 74 meters. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I have three of those and three of that blue. Those might actually work pretty well together. Let's see what I can come up with out of that and not knock it off my table. All right, what else is in this bag? Oh, hello. This is why there's only seven balls instead of nine in there, I believe. This is a pound of love. It should, have, it should sound like that. This is in tote. Every one that I've seen has been in some kind of neutral like this for the pound of love. Don't care, it is a pretty decent um, value yarn, if you will. This is a four weight. How much is in this sucker? It's a pound, 16 ounces, which is 454 grams, it's 932 meters or 1,020 yards. That is a lot of bang for your buck out of that. So, taupe, or as I like to call it, beige. This is more of a dark beige. That's what it is. And last, but certainly not least, basic stitch. All right, I gotta get into this one too. You know, I just can't wait on any of these. I gotta see all the things. It would be nice if their packaging was more easily accessible. I like that they come in bags, but then I want them out of the bags, you know? All right, let's not cut myself with that or the yarn. Ooh, look at that. 
nice marled color. This is, oh, what are we calling this one? Gray White. They didn't get creative with this name. Gray White. It's a four weight. Not the softest ever, but it's certainly, you know, it's scarfable. Uh, three ounces, 157 yards, or 85 grams, 144 meters for each one, and three of those. And the basic stitch is anti-pilling. Hope that will focus. And this says one will make a hat. Depends on what stitch you're using, actually. Yeah, I could probably get a hat out of that, but I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Oh, this, this has to tell me what it wants to be. I love mystery boxes. I really do. I kind of knew, had an idea of what was going to be coming. We knew it was going to be seven balls of yarn. They said it right on the website. And I had seen other people opening theirs. And it was variations on a theme. I had seen some of these and some of them in different colors. Um, I saw somebody today open one up of these in this color. And I thought, ooh, that is really pretty. Not quite black, so maybe it'll be easy enough to see to crochet with. And of course, the fact that it's a super bulky six wouldn't hurt. Anywho, I am thrilled to bits. I love a mystery box. I also should not be left unsupervised um, when certain people get on YouTube and start talking about yarn. Because, not right now, but coming soon, I will have an unboxing from Smiley's Yarn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Crochet and Grandma, uh, Glenda, link here or down below someplace. She was talking about stuff that she got from Smiley's and they had a really good deal on some Peyton's wool. Super wash wool, y'all. Super wash wool for a buck fifty a skein. Not a teeny tiny skein, just like a normal skein. So I had to go get some. Because of course I did. Just yarn enablers. All y'all, yarn enablers. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm going to let you go here. I know you've had a long, busy week at work like I have, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.